It is Wednesday, October 16th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. A federal judge rules that a purge of Alabama voters must stop until after next month's general election. A program that began this summer by Alabama Secretary of State Wes Allen flagged more than 3,000 voters and accused them of illegally registering. The U.S. Department of Justice, along with several civil rights organizations, sued Allen and the state, alleging the initiative intimidated legal voters. AL.com reports that more than two-thirds of those voters targeted by Allen's program were deemed eligible to vote. The judge ruled those numbers supported the DOJ's claim that harm could be done without an injunction to delay the program. Proposed rules are now public that govern Alabama's new law allowing families to use income tax credits to pay for their child's K-12 education. Known as the CHOOSE Act, the measure permits parents to put up to $7,000 per year for each eligible child into education savings accounts. The money can be used to pay for eligible services, including private schools. A public hearing is set for November 5th, offering residents a chance to discuss the rules before they're finalized. The program is funded with $100 million of state money for its first year. Opponents of the legislation, including some Republicans from rural areas, say ESAs divert resources away from public schools. And a mortgage company operating in the Birmingham area will pay almost $10 million in a settlement for discriminatory lending practices known as redlining. According to a statement from the U.S. Department of Justice, Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation has agreed to the settlement for engaging in redlining beginning as early as 2015. The company operating as Mortgage Bank in Birmingham was one of the country's largest mortgage lending companies. According to the DOJ, Fairway claimed to serve the entire metropolitan area but for years discouraged home ownership in majority black areas by generating loan applications at a rate far below its peer institutions. $8 million of the settlement will go towards a loan subsidy program and investments in black neighborhoods. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org. And if you haven't already, check out our local newscast during WBHM's broadcast of NPR's Morning Edition and the afternoon's All Things Considered. That's each weekday on 90.3 WBHM, Birmingham.